Hello everyone, this is Sandeep here from Physics HQ. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums from 12th Physics textbook of Maharashtra State Board New Syllabus 2020. In this video, we will be covering sums of Chapter 3 Kinetic Theory of Gases and Radiation. This is part 2 of the chapter. If you have not seen the part 1 video, please check it out. So let us go ahead and solve the first sum. Compare the RMS speed of hydrogen molecules at 127 degree Celsius with RMS speed of oxygen molecule at 27 degrees Celsius given that molecular masses of hydrogen and oxygen are 2 and 32. So what we have is molecular mass of hydrogen which is 2, molecular mass of oxygen which is 32, temperature for hydrogen is 127 degree Celsius we will convert this into Kelvin to convert Celsius to Kelvin always remember to add 273 to it so 273 plus 127 is 400 Kelvin similarly we will convert it for oxygen also for oxygen temperature is given as 27 degree Celsius so let us add 27 plus 273 how much we get we get 300 Kelvin now we are supposed to compare the RMS speed so let us write down the formula for RMS speed RMS speed is given by root of 3 R RT by M0. M0 is molecular mass, R is universal gas constant, T is temperature. So what we can say is RMS velocity is directly proportional to root of temperature and inversely proportional to root of molecular mass. So when we compare RMS velocity for hydrogen and RMS velocity for oxygen, what we can write is we can write root of temperature of hydrogen, temperature of oxygen into root of molecular mass of oxygen and molecular mass of hydrogen since temperature is directly proportional we have written temperature of hydrogen in numerator and since molecular mass is inversely proportional we have inverted the ratio so let us go ahead and solve this by putting the values temperature of hydrogen is 400 kelvin temperature of oxygen is 300 kelvin root of what we have is molecular mass of oxygen is 32 molecular mass of hydrogen is 2 so let us see what all cancels out then we have 2 16s are 32 so what we are left with is root of 4 by 3 into root of 16 so root of 16 is 4 and root of 4 is 2 so we got 2 into 4 divided by root 3 which is 8 by root 3 so we got the ratio of rms speeds of hydrogen and oxygen to be 8 by root 3 let us go ahead to the next sum find kinetic energy of 5 liter of gas at standard temperature and pressure given standard pressure is 1.01 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so what we have is pressure is equal to 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square volume is given as 5 liter now remember this relation when you have to convert liter in terms of meter what you can do is just multiply it by 10 raised to minus 3 you will get your volume in meter cube okay so 1 liter is 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube now for energy we will be using the simple formula which is given by E is equal to 3 by 2 PB this is equal to 3 by 2 pressure we have as 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 into volume is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 let us try to simplify this so what we have 5 3 is of 15 divided by 2 into 1.013 into 10 raised to 2 which is equal to 7.5 into 1.013 into 10 raised to 2 uh, so once you multiply this what you will get is you will get 7.597 into 10 raised to 2 energy ka unit is joules let us go ahead to the next one calculate the average molecular kinetic energy per kilomole per kg per molecule of oxygen at 127 degree celsius given that molecular weight of oxygen is 32 r is 8.31 avogadro's number is 6.02 into 10 raise to 23 so what we have is temperature which is 127 degree celsius let us convert this into kelvin by adding 273 which makes it 400 kelvin next we have molecular weight which is 32 r ka value is 8.31 we got avogadro's number na given as 6.02 into 10 raise to 23 we are supposed to find kinetic energy we already used this formula kinetic energy which is equal to 3 by 2 pv now we know by the equation of state of ideal gas pv is equal to nr so for a single mole where n is equal to 1 we can write pv is equal to so for the first sum what we can have is we can have kinetic energy per mole given as 3 by 2 pv 
which is equal to 3 by 2 RT right so we got this equation but we want it as per kilo mole so to make mole to kilo mole what we need to do is we need to convert this by multiplying in the denominator by 10 raised to minus 3 so when we take it in numerator it will become 10 raised to 3 so let us solve this what we have is 3 by 2 R is 8 0.31 temperature is 400 now this will become 200 we also have 10 raised to 3 over so we can simply multiply this 6 into 8.31 into 10 raised to 5 so ye 200 ka 2 zero 10 ke power mein add kar diya we can multiply this 6 1s are 6 6 3s are 18 1 carried up 6 8s are 48 plus 1 is 49 so we got this value as 4 9 8 6 into 10 raised to 5 or we can write it as 4.986 into 10 raised to 6 this is energy per kilo mole so you can have this as joules per kilo mole now second one is to find average molecular kinetic energy per kg so the formula is 3 by 2 rt just divide this by the molecular weight which is 32 but generally molecular weight comes in grams and over here again this is in kg so we will multiply denominator by 10 raised to minus 3 to convert gram into kg and then that 10 raised to minus 3 can be taken up which will become 10 raised to 3 now over here what we can do is this 3 by 2 rt into 10 raised to 3 is what we calculated above okay so this value is also for 3 by 2 rt into 10 raised to 3 so we can use that value 4.986 into 10 raised to 6 divided by this 32 okay so after solving this or dividing by 32 what we will get is we will get 1.558 into 10 raised to 5 now this is the kinetic energy joules per kg okay next last one is kinetic energy per molecule okay so what we will have is 3 by 2 rt is the kinetic energy per molecule is for that we will divide it by the Avogadro's number so 3 by 2 rt again we have it as 4.986 this time we will take it as 10 raised to 3 only because this 10 raised to 6 is because it was converted into kilo mole for per mole we will take it as 10 raised to 3 divided by Avogadro's number which is 6.02 into 10 raised to 23 we can write this as 49.86 divided by 6.02 into 10 raised to minus 90 either you can divide it directly or you should do it by using log book you will get 8.282 into 10 raised to minus 21 this is joule per molecule i hope uh, you all understood this part what we did was we used only 3 by 2 rt that's why we have this power as 10 raised to 3 not 10 raised to 6 like we have in this answer okay so let us go ahead to the next questions calculate the energy radiated in one minute by a black body of surface area 100 centimeter square when it is maintained at 227 degrees celsius stephen's constant sigma is given to be 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 so what we have is temperature which is 227 degrees celsius let us convert this into kelvin how to do it just add 273 to it so what we'll get 227 plus 273 is 500 kelvin Next what we have is area which is given as 100 centimeter square let us convert this into meter 100 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter or you can simply write it as 10 raised to minus 2 meter next time is given as 1 minute which is 60 seconds sigma stephen constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 we are supposed to find energy radiated by the black body energy radiated ka formula is q is equal to sigma a t raised to 4 into t q is energy radiated sigma we got as 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 area is 10 raised to minus 2 temperature we have as 500 kelvin so 500 raised to 4 into time is 60 let us try to solve this 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 10 into yeah we can write it as 5 raised to 4 and 100 raised to 4 into 60 so what we'll get is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 10 5 raised to 4 is uh, 625 into 100 raised to 4 will be 10 raised to 8 actually into we can have 60 so after simplifying we will we'll get 625 into 60 into 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 2 now we can multiply this directly or if you want to use you can use log book you will get the answer as 2126.25 joules this is the energy radiated the unit is joule this is the answer let us go ahead with the next question energy is emitted by a hole in an electric furnace at the rate of 20 watt 
this is important when the temperature of the furnace is 727 degree celsius what is the area of the hole stiffen constant is given so we got stiffen constant as 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 temperature as 727 degree celsius let us convert this into kelvin by adding 273 so we got 1000 kelvin then we got rate of flow of energy now rate of flow of energy is nothing but power actually and this is denoted by q by t or you can write it as dq by dt okay so whenever there is this rate means you have to divide it by time so we can have dq by dt which is given as 20 watt so which formula we will use we will use the same formula we used in last sum but it will be slightly modified so we got dq by dt this is equal to sigma a t raised to 4 okay now we want to find area over here so they have asked for area so we'll rearrange this area is dq by dt 1 upon sigma into t raised to 4 let us put dq by dt as 20 divided by sigma is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 into 1000 is 10 raised to 3 temperature is 1000 10 raised to 3 raised to 4 this will give us 20 upon 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 into 10 raised to 12 right so we will be left with 10 raised to 4 in the denominator we will take it up it will become 10 raised to minus 4 now you can divide this directly or by using logbook you will get 3.509 into 10 raised to minus 4 and the area ka unit will be meters right that's it from this video if you found this video useful don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates this is Andy Pierre from Physics HQ signing off